the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. An absolutely perfect fall afternoon for football. And we are under bright blue Colorado skies and in power field at Mile High in Denver. Today, we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Denver Broncos. Brandon Gordon here in Denver, joined by Charles Davis and CD. The Broncos are looking for a turnaround here in 2023. Coming off a five-win season and a last-place finish in the AFC West, but this doesn't feel like a last-place team. Nor to me, because when you look at them on offense, loaded with skill position players at wide receiver and running back, and then flip it over to the defensive side of the ball, and they can compete with anyone. They make it tough to run your offense. Well, meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year, I get that, but they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are, remember. Going 7-10, they were 7-3 at one point last season, and they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. And off we go from Denver. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Now the third year man back in healthy is Javante Williams. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 25, here's second and six. Here's Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. In today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. To throw is Wilson. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Quinn and Williams, so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Now it's Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. A beautiful fake. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. 
He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the 34-yard line, here's second and four. And here's a quick throw out to Mims. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. Play action. Now Wilson. He's got Burton here. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. So second and four from the 22. They go play action with Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three and leaves him with fourth and one. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Running it with a fullback, Burton. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that, but by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, Williams. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Wilson now to throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Broncos! Jerry Judy, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are on the board first here this afternoon. Will Lutz on for the point after. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
Taken at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 23, here's a second and four. Now Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Seven yards there and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now Wilson on first down. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Alex Singleton making the play defensively. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Throwing is Wilson. Under pressure, and they get to him again. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Throwing on third and long, Wilson. And that is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Back deep for Denver, the rookie Marvin Mims. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want to repeat of their first drive. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. On first down, Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. Six. 
second down and four. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Wilson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Broncos first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Up the middle, it's Williams. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now they'll toss it out right to Williams. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds him and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. They run it again with Williams. Give him three yards on the run. Now they'll need to draw him something good here on third and 13. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football. The offense on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13 from the shotgun, Wilson. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Wilson with two first half touchdown passes and the Broncos have taken a two touchdown lead now. Well this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop and they score again Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored, the defense got the ball back for them, they score again. That's the way you win ball games. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive goes eight plays, and Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? 
Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a second and eight. Again, it's Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's third and seven. Now Wilson. On the out route, he finds Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you just have to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Second and ten. Here's Wilson. inside the 10 back at the nine Quentin Jefferson give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards well that's what they have to do more of defensively not just getting sacks we have to keep getting in his face not let him get his feet set and deliver he's been carving them up previously yeah already has a couple of touchdown passes about time they put a few grass stains on that jersey it's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack Looking to throw. Wilson. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Jets will take over first and 10. So out now come the Jets. They've had it twice, they've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines what do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first and ten, it's Wilson. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. A lot of bad news on that 
play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Jets. Delvin Cook, 48 yards. And the Jets have got it back to within a score. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. So that drive, four plays. And the final act of the drive was the touchdown catch by Dalvin Cook. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And coming out now, the Broncos. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Off play action, Wilson. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The Broncos on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third down and 12. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Jets will take over. The New York set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. 
First target, first catch at a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Alex Singleton, a former Canadian League star, in on the stop. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now Wilson on second down. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 38-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Being chased out left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they'll cut the lead back down to 4 now at 14-10. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Dancing to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a 
little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give him credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Right side, it's Manhurts, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They go play action now, Wilson. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. They're going for a receiver there, already has one touchdown in this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their head space is though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You wanna go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Well, Rory's seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. Third down and one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Here's Wilson. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Shorter than it's low and incomplete. 
coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to the ground, Cook. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as it will come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to put it away. Taking it at about the 36. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Here's second and 10. Now Wilson. Throw out wide is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now it's Wilson. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Ah, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 20. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. Got a man, that's Lazard. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Broncos got some strong play from their veteran quarterback, Russell Wilson. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. Now the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. Now Wilson on first down. And got his man complete. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 47 yards. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now it's Wilson. He's got the hook up to Lazard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Number 10, Alan Lazard. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 24-yard line. From the 24 now, here's a second and five. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wilson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. On first down, Wilson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown! Alan Lazard from 10 yards out. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Now Zerline on and the extra point. It's good and they'll take a 17-14 lead. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 28-yard line. Here's Williams to start the drive. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And Williams is gonna pick up a Broncos first down as he gets this up past the 40. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical.
Here's Wilson to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Wilson. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And yeah, that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. All eyes on Zach Wilson leading his team back out for this next drive. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. To throw is Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. So the completion gets him just a yard. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. Second and 10, it's Wilson again. And his throw here is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hopefully they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Wilson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Here's Riley Dixon now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. In motion right is Wilson. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Only able to gain a couple there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Take it at the 37. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. He has still not connected on a single pass in this second half. And right now, they're going through all the different reasons, the whys, the wherefores, bottom line. Got to find some completions in there and get their offense moving. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Play action, it's Wilson. Throw left side complete, that's Sutton. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try to find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first and 10, it's Wilson. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way home for the Broncos score. Cortland Sutton with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos have retaken a third quarter lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. 
But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. The Lutz will look to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. A drive there of just four plays. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and yeah, they'll begin at the 25. And now out come the Jets. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Cook running right, dancing away at the 35. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Cook again, and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. On second down, Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Wilson now on first and 10. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 29-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. Conklin calling a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, 
Boy, then you got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Again, Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 14. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Josie Jewell, the linebacker, getting the sack. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Well, offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a four-point game. Well, just kicking a field goal there, that's a decision that could be open to second guessing. You know, you're trying to get back with it a field goal, but it didn't work out as planned. And now you're banking on your defense to be motivated enough to get out there and get the ball back for you. I think if that ball goes through the post, the defense is naturally motivated, even elevated in their mission. Now they've got to find a way to dig down deep and get it done. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. They begin the drive with Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The slot man in motion right. And they'll fake the jet sweep, and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 61 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and three. A give to Williams, running right. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. And this is caught for a Bronco, 
touchdown. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Broncos will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Lux with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They go play action now. Wilson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. This offense so far on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? Pulled in at the 24. A 40-yard punt, given three on the return. So the Broncos coming out now. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there of playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. Sutton reeling it in on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it, the benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. They go play action with Wilson. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. 
play action is supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And Williams going to get it again on second down. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now it's Wilson. Caught left side, Williams. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Now Lutz for the field goal try. There'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson finding Hardman here over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Play action, now Wilson. Open man is Uzama. First target, first catch at a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now Wilson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now a second and 10. Wilson will throw again. And complete right side to Cook. And he's 
Lions able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 81 yards rushing now for Cook, and this is a first down. Well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. Here's Wilson. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Receiver complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 19. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Throw right side going to be caught by Hardman. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. And quickly, they get to the line. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Pass complete, he's got Lazard on the out route. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now Wilson. Good coverage yet again down here by the goal line. Everyone's blanketed, and he's forced to throw it away and try and come up with something on third down. tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal there's Wilson to throw throwing the out route incomplete that's Wilson and he'll be brought down here at the three yard line completed pass brings up a fourth down situation do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And the Bronco defense comes up big. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 83 yards rushing for him now to this point. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. 
And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now a second and six. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he is going to have the Broncos first, and that should be the capper. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. On second down, Williams. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one will wind up a Denver victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, 